Oh my god! I had to do dark time, but boss, holy shit. Pat yourself with a back, mate. Jesus Christ. Then I got 100% on one of those. Hello, hi Gun Guild. Welcome in, Kings. Hope you are well today and you're excited to do some work. I know it's Sunday, but you know. Work gotta work. <laughs> All right, lads, let us pull up the music. It's just the first test of the semester. Still, that is really, really lovely and wonderful to hear. Yeah, I'm so excited to work after my week of work, my Saturday of work. Well, yeah, it's, it's a bit, yeah. But like, if you don't need to work, if you don't want to. But if you don't know what a co-working stream is, basically, I will be using the stream to work and you could either chill or you could also work out, hang up on my friend to watch the stream. Okay, you don't need to. <laughs> Friends are important. Work on my dab and dab thing. Yeah, you can do some chill activities. You could do a bit of uh, work yourself if you want to, but basically it's a, it's a nice little uh, structure. So let me get rid of all the shit on the to-do list and start free. Friends suck. No, friends are lovely, especially mine. Okay, sure. Um, but yeah, if you don't know anything about this, we're basically using um, a game slash program called... I'm in a video call right now with my boyfriend, he is napping. That is sweet! Good nap to your boyfriend. Uh, but yeah, so we're using a game slash software called uh, Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions, which is basically a tool to have some nice music play and some cute visuals. Um, I'm kind of feeling some evening moods and... Um, I think we should go to the desk. So yeah, we made like a little avatar. And you can have like cool music playing and stuff. By that to be me, parentheses napping. Ah, uh, fair enough. All right, so let's get a little bit of a setup going. And if you don't know, we're gonna be using this like Pomodoro timer thing where we have some breaks. And in those breaks, we can have a bit of a chat, hang out, and just have good vibes and all of that. And obviously in the, the work periods, I'll try my best to get some work done as well. Because uh, I have a few things to be uh, attempted, okay, guys? It's all about the attempts. So I do have job applications. I know, super fun. But I really definitely need to get a job in the next few months uh, to finish my degree. And yeah, I, I dread it massively, to say the least. I very much struggle with job applications, but you know, you gotta do it. Let's see if I can get some term paperwork uh, as well into the schedule. Doesn't mean we have to do all of them, it's just kind of the selection. Uh, this is, I'm taking these from my, my overall to-do list, but obviously I'm only putting in tasks that are like 
done at the computers. I can do them while I'm uh, here with you lads. Uh, so we do have TL art, which stands for Tiny Life Art. I think you should do some commission work, silly. Um, but yes, indeed, I do have commission work. Streamer getting some money, lads. Mysterious. Mysterious projects. Um, I don't think I can do any of those. I can't do that. I could do some Twitch alert work. I know, super interesting. Twitch alerts. The art uh, stands for Tiny Life Art. I've, that's less like need to do, but I wanted to do like a bit more. Uh, Twitch alerts. I do have Twitch emotes. I know you boys uh, have been asking for some, so I should put this on the list. And also, I've got articles. Uh, ah, Jesus Christ. Articles for class. I have to write three articles for this one class, so I wanted to try and get started on that today. <clears throat> and I have a. Uh, work application important because there's this one job I want to apply to that has a application deadline uh, on the 31st of January so that then I have a PowerPoint presentation for my friends's birthday art and art Ickles. true PowerPoint point for new day because uh, one of my friends invited me to her birthday party and the theme is um, PowerPoint karaoke, so everyone has to make a PowerPoint for it, and then uh, on the day we shuffle and everyone has to present someone else's um, a prepared PowerPoint without knowing in advance. Uh, which is gonna be really, really fun. I'm hyped for that, and I think that's what I've got. Uh, oh, yeah, and read as well. Oh, reading is my nice one, because I did finish The Secret History today. Was a bit of a slog, not gonna lie, it's a 600 page book. Uh, and then I have decided I should start on This Is How You Lose the Time War because that is my other book for January uh, for my challenges. It's the book for January that I chose for the 12 months of romance books uh, challenge on... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know why my voice is so broken right now. Um, books, yes indeed, because... um. Oh, I'm quite a reader, um, but I like little challenges, and I use the story graph challenges quite frequently, typically one to two a year. And this year I opted for the uh, Easy Pages challenge. I've already read the book for that. What's your favorite book? Difficult question. Um, I don't think I can pick a favorite. I have a lot of favorites. Um, I have a lot, I have like a lot of books I own, a lot of books I've read. Um, hmm, what... What could be... I think I've loosely decided my favourite book. TBH? Alright, go on. Because it also depends on, like, fiction versus non-fiction. I have, like... I don't have, like, a favourite, I'd say. Um... Because there's also nostalgia, as co of course, for when, like, books that, that meant a lot to me when I was a kid and everything. And that I still think are well-written. Um... Hmm. I'm looking at my shelf, by the way, so let's see if... I'd say... My kind of stock answer is uh, The Heart's Invisible Furies. Uh, do you know about Wings of Fire? Maybe, I'll look it up. I think I, I remember something. Wings of Fire. Or the series, I assume, with the dragons or a different one. I think they both died at the end. It's overall my favorite book, TBH. It is a very good book. My favorite romance book is Lift, though. Yeah, like, it depends on the genre, but I would say The Heart's Invisible Furies is my, my like, stock answer because is a beautifully written book. It is gay, it is historical, it is sweeping, it is sad, it is hopeful. It is all the things. And also I wrote a term paper about it, so I'm biased and I've engaged with it on a very deep level in the way that I don't do for every single book. But, that's kind of like a tentative. You're getting a story wings of fire's gay dragons. Ooh, I didn't know they were gay. Well, now I'm going to add this to the to the reading list. Ooh. And they do look fun. I mean, I, I don't mind a good dragon book, you know. Animal-centered books, I think, are pretty fun. Alright, Wings of Fire's added chapters. Uh, but yeah, so I use, the, I use Storygraph. I also use Goodreads, by the way. I'm an equal opportunity user. But Storygraph has the better challenges. It also has the better statistics. Um, Wings of Fire. I'm adding the first one to the list chat. Ooh, holy shit, that's got really good ratings. 
All right, let's add a chat. Boom. But uh, yeah, so I used to start graph challenges, and this year I have two. I have the easy, uh, what's it, easy pages challenge, and I have the 12 months of romance. For easy pages, I've already done that one. Uh, for this month, it was a book that someone gifted to me, and I chose uh, Fools in Love, which is a short story collection. I really liked it. All right. And for 12 months of romance, the theme was for January, enemies to lovers. So I chose, this is how you do the time war. It's about two people on opposite sides of a war, of a war, blah, of a war, and they write each other letters, and then they fall in love, obviously. Uh, so I'm quite hyped. I've been having that one on my to-read list for genuinely years. I think since it came out, 2019, yeah, probably <laughs> since it came out. Uh, so I, um, now that I've gotten the secret history out of the way, because that was a chonker, I decided I should do a little bit of reading this today as well. All right, lads. Let's do some timer setups, get ourselves the three sessions in, and then we can do some work. Before we go into the work, I do want to do my little, like, mild rant about the secret history, and then we'll do work, okay? Because I don't want to, if you guys are also working, I don't want to distract you with too much talking. Um, but yeah, if you don't know the secret history, it's a very well-known book in the it's a literary fiction genre and it's very much one of the centerpieces shut up now that's why i'm doing the talking in front of it because then after that i will actually do work myself so <laughs> i have a lot of stuff that i want to at least start today <laughs> sure mm. um but yeah it's like if you know anything about dark academia or both the fashion and the general aesthetics or generally literary fiction, the secret history is often brought up. And I personally got it recommended after I read If We Were Villains, which uh, has a similar kind of concept of group of privileged college students and one of them dies. I cry, rip. So that's the basic premise of both of these books. So I read If We Were Villains, I quite liked it. Bit much Shakespeare, but overall really good. I think I gave it a 4 or 4.5. And then I read The Secret History, which is a 600, like, 29-page book. It's a chonker. And I'm kind of torn on this book, okay, chat? I'm gonna give mild spoilers, but I'm gonna try and not spoil too much. But I gave it three and a half stars, in case you're wondering, because the writing is very good. Like, it's very picturesque. There's a lot of very vivid imagery and used and everything, and the whole aesthetic is very good. But just everything else is just like, what the fuck is even happening in this book? The question is, what isn't happening in this book, right? Okay, the main murder, the, the whole like plot point, right? Isn't even the only murder in this book. It's the second murder, because why not? I'm glad that the character who gets murdered is the character who gets murdered, because he is a homophobic, anti-Semitic, misogynistic prick with very few redeeming qualities. And I don't, like, a lot of people, I was reading through some reviews after I read the book, a lot of people were like, oh, he was one of my, like, one of the characters I enjoyed the most because he had, like, he was more char characterized than the other characters. I was like, how? He's, like, the most annoying character in the entire book, and I'm glad he dies, like, tw 200 pages in. <laughs> Sauce. But also, the narrator is boring. I agree with that one to people, like... Why out of that group is he the guy they chose? His name is fucking Richard and his entire personality is I was born in Florida and I feel inadequate. I'm like, okay, cool. And then... Right, so like... A third into the book or so... This character, the, the murdered one, Bunny is his name. Never explained why he's named, like, nicknamed Bunny. No one knows, he's just randomly called that. Like, cool. He gets murdered, right? And the entire rest of the book is basically the aftermath of the murder. And if you could pick, like, every dark topic you could cover in a book like this, it's in there. Drugs, alcohol, abuse, incest, murder, sex, like, everything is in there. And I'm like, oh my god, why is this just, like, everything ever? Like, there's suicide, there's, like, like oh my god, there's theft. There's drunk driving. They were like, yeah, we're just gonna throw everything onto the wall. And like, there's not one, but two different murders. And I'm like, cool. Um, lot happening. Everyone's constantly drunk, high, or both. Which I'm like, okay, this is, book is like set in the 
like 80s 90s question mark it was written in the 90s so it's set quite far in the past for our modern sensibility but then i'm like it is a really good setting and a lot of the concepts and themes that i touched upon are interesting but why and also this is just a, a me thing right they have like the only actually um confirmed gay character in the entire book constantly just basically throws himself upon every other male character in this book willingly or unwillingly which i don't think is great wings of fire are my favorite because dragon and gay and murder yo based but yeah i'm like so francis is the, is the gay guy's name he was one of my favorite characters except the whole him randomly having like basically the urge to throw himself upon all of his close male friends and also he just has like a full mental breakdown at the end tries to kill himself sorry for interrupting no worries but i'm like really is this like the direction we need to go with the whole and he's frequently a target of, like, the guy who gets murdered buddies, like, homophobic rants. And by homophobic, I don't mean, like, lightly homophobic. I mean, like, full-on slinging the F slur left and right and shit. I'm like, oh my god. Ah, so I was... Ah, that just... I know it's it's a different times and all of that, but I still... It still bothers me. Like, if you are gonna go as far to have not multiple on-screen, like, on-page, right? Gay encounters and you have a gay character, why is that character treated so abysmally? Also, the only main female character is basically not characterized at all. Like, she has no room to actually be her own character, aside from being a love interest to multiple of the other male characters. I'm like, ooh, that's a bit, you know. It has a lot of interesting things it's trying to cover, and I like the idea of it being like, oh, look at all these what, what happens basically when you give people too much privilege and unfiltered money. Because they're all like, except Richard, who's the main character, like all of them are children of massive privilege, both financially and um, from a class point of view. So he's very much the odd uh, man out. But I, I kind of like that it's like, oh, look at all these, like what happens basically when you give too much leeway and people have the feeling they can get away with anything, including murder, right? But a lot of the characters, I just didn't love how they were handled, and mostly the issues that I had in terms of what happens to the characters and how they, the author like develops a plot happened in the last like 200 or 100 pages or so. Because at the start, it's very much this like, oh, lavish living, country houses, like endless amounts of access to high quality food and alcohol and all of this like high basically high living literally and figuratively and all of them being and richard very much especially getting absorbed to this like oh high society and thinking about the grand ideals of life that part's very interesting it's very well done then you have the murder which is basically the big cut in this game in this story and then in the later part of the book it's just all about everyone spiraling the massive investigation into the disappearance and later obviously discovery of the corpse and then just everyone going completely batshit. And basically all the characters get completely ruined. I don't understand why they chose... There's like... A pair of twin characters. And they were like... Hey, these are interesting characters with like... A cool dynamic. No, immediately of course you gotta have them have uh, an incestuous relationship. Of course they gotta have an also an abusive relationship. Because like... Why have an original d dynamic or anything? Which isn't hinted at all in the start of the book, by the way. And like the first two, three hundred pages, you think, oh, these are the characters. And then like in the other half of the book, they just get completely made worse. And I get maybe that's the intention of the whatever effect of what happens to you after you've committed a murder willingly to save your own skin. But I still am like, why? Like it, well, it didn't gain anything from that. So that's why my, my mid rating. And I'm always disappointed when I read a really long book, like that one, like 600 pages, and I end up with like a meh or, or more negative point. 
like feeling at the end of the book. Because uh, I always want those big books to just be the best thing ever, because like, why else suffer through 600 pages, you know? But alas, I do hope that this uh, is how you lose the time war is going to be a, a better reading experience. And with that, we'll jump into our first work session. Good luck, chatters. Also, if you want me to change the music or the activity or mood, like what time it is, or um, if we want any extra sounds, like rain or, or fireplace uh, sounds or anything, feel free to request. This is good for now, all right. Yeah, I wanted to add. to stand with this powerpoint by the way because it's kind of low effort but once i've done it i've done it Yeah, I'm just making a presentation for my friend's birthday party. It's meant to be about Albert Einstein, so... I'm gonna assume like 5 to 10 slides should be enough. And an answer. Gonna see what you can do. One.
be like in the blank side moment of conversation when you don't know what to say. I mean, when I first did um, a co-working stream, I kind of was very new to it, and my natural tendency as a streamer is to just chat a lot. But when other people are also trying to do some work, I kind of feel like being a bit more quiet actually helps. Yeah, it's case where the can actually also have his mouth closed. Shut the fuck up. Thank you for the hug, Wisp. I appreciate it. Fireplace. There you go. Nice. I think I'm gonna be a little mean for this presentation. The whole point is the person who's gonna have to hold it doesn't know the topic. So I'm just gonna put random pictures. Be like, hmm, how much does this person know about Albert Einstein? <laughs>
First break time chat. Done quite a lot of progress on this random PowerPoint I meant to make. I've done uh, well, I'm on slide number five. I'm very happy with that so far. We've got a nice five minutes to just hang out, have a bit of a chat. What have you guys? Wait, uh, blah, blah, Jesus Christ! What are you guys working on? If you're working on anything, or you're just chilling? Either way is good. I know for a lot of people, Sunday is like a day of rest. I have work on Saturdays, so Saturday isn't my day of rest, and because um, I tend to have that not really on the weekends normally, I have I associate the weekend not really with with time off, but more with oh I have to work. <laughs> I'm kind of working on stuff for my, your tabletop RPG. That's so hype. What kind of stuff? But yeah, five minutes is good times to get yourself a snack or a drink, stretch, make sure you're comfy and warm. Always good. Uh, also, hype, if you don't know uh, Spirit City Love Sessions, which is what we're using for these co working streams, it actually has a release um, date, I think. Or it has like a, a, a more accurate release. In the second quarter of 2024, which is very exciting. I'm thinking of different things to add to my games, like monsters. Ooh, ooh nice. Well, best of luck with it. Oh, yeah, I'm hyped for when this comes out fully. Been a really nice tool to use for these types of streams. It built nice visuals and everything. I'm excited for these like other features that will be in the full game. 
Uh, but yeah, feeling a bit like disappointed the fact that the secret history wasn't as much to my taste as if we were villains was. But now I've got a new book to get excited for and uh, because I have this year I already have challenges where it requires me to read two books per month in that specific month. I hope to avoid the crunch I did last year where I forgot to continuously read throughout the year on the books that were designated for challenges and then I had like seven books left with a month and a half to spare at the end of the year and I really had to hunker down into the last minute to get all of them done. With this new um, two book a month system, hopefully uh, that will be a nicer pace. And um, yeah, also I'm hyped because I had my my first week of the... Thank you for the hydrate, appreciate it. And the posture check, very nice. It's still snowy here, the snow is melting yet, but it probably will coming uh, week because it's gonna be raining, presumably. But yeah. Uh, also, so it's the first week where I've used for my daily tasks a little card with some habit trackers on it and it's it's worked really well. I've done uh, exercise every day, reading every day and VOD uploads five out of the seven days. Unprecedented levels of VOD output. Uh, so I'm gonna, I think, actually write on the to-do list to make the new um, card for daily task. Right, so once we are back onto the working period, I will do that as well because I, I kind of use it because I have a to-do list every day, but these dailies, um, these little habit stickers are for a week. So I ha put them on a little loose thing like a card or paper so I can just slot it on the corresponding day. So I've started exercising, have not done uh, much yet. That is exciting and neither have I. Like I've just been keeping up with exercise, earning <laughs> 25 pounds of weight. Holy shit. How much is that in kilos? Americans with their pounds, man. <laughs> Five pounds in kilograms. Eleven pounds! Jesus Christ! Uh, no pounds, eleven kilograms, holy shit. I'm doing like five right now, my good sir. Well, GG, that is a lot. That is a lot. Don't put yourself down then, you have done a lot. How dare you? I think I'm gonna put on a cap. Well, I've got this very nice uh, vanilla, like, cappuccino flavoured candle, and it's quite a nice touch in the winter. There you go, candle lit. Finally got back to do yoga, been unable to run for visiting my family for holidays, they're being sick, I'm really happy to be back then. Yippee! And also we are, we can be back, back to work, lads! Why my arms and legs are spaghetti today? Yeah. Figured. I figured. working all this time. Well, according to my ceiling, I got to 60 pounds. I could number over 50 or 60. Holy shit, that's so much. That is a lot. That was a couple of years ago. Still, that's so much. Jeez. Secretly, you are absolutely jacked, Wisp. I did not see that coming. I'm not that strong now, but still, I might be able to be able to lift me TBH. Who wouldn't want that?
I don't know, it's very stressful working out this to lift my boyfriend. <laughs> so true. And what, uh, I don't know, buff mask people probably, maybe, but clearly that is a common want. In this Twitch chat, we have three, three people alone who either want to be the lifted or the lifty, or I suppose both. Depending on uh, who you are. It's have a pattern like West by your single West. Clearly not! <laughs> Clearly not. Shame. Truly, truly a shame. People are missing out. We don't tell them out. Yeah, I don't know why you're asking. <laughs> I've done a presentation. Surely nine slides is enough. I just want someone who can lift me. Yeah. I literally gave up so fast on making like a real <laughs> PowerPoint because it's not meant to be super slash SRS. It's just meant for the lols. It should probably be good. I just added a bunch of formulas that I don't even know what they mean. And I just added like four formulas and it, it just put at the top, what does this mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a banger of a PowerPoint presentation. Well, I, I can sh I, I'll share with you, Al, if you want to see. It. This is the <laughs> it's in German chapters, otherwise I would show you as, as well. I mean, there's not a lot of text on it, it's just kind of silly. I will send myself it as an email to remember that it's I've done it already to myself. There you go. Done. I'm first doing a week of just five calls per hour per set. Three sets for five minutes in between that I'm going to raise it by two calls every day. Yo. <laughs> Boom. One task done. Hello, friends. I'm back. You didn't file your streaming taxes in time, did I not? Proposal. Well, I'm back though. The internet is a bit fucky sometimes, I do apologise. There you go, I am back. But yeah, the presentation is on purpose, kind of like confusing and low effort. But yeah, anyways, what I was going on about is that for my little daily habits I use micro trading cards because I don't know I don't really have anything else to use some of them for I have a bunch the cutest and most fun designs I have on my little picture wall but just generally I have a lot of them so I thought I'd use them for some useful purpose like this <laughs> oh, I'm bringing up my box of stickers I have a bunch including uh, now the little habit tracking stickers and I also have some little labels where I write the week span on, so I know what week that one is from. There you go. Plopping that in the corner. Boop. 
done. Blah. Is it back? Uh, oh, I need to go. Sorry, no worries. It was lovely to see you today. We see you soon. Oh yeah, sorry that it's so flickery chat. Not a lot I can do. I can close some tabs and stuff, but I can also close Discord probably. Yeah, that might balance it out. Yes, yeah, so I've got my little cabinet of... It's not even cabinet, it's a, it's a little box with geese on it. That I use for my stickers. I'll come back indeed. So it should be uh, 22nd to 28th. 22nd to 28th. Go. I actually kind of fucked that up, but it's fine. I can fix it. I've got a little fixing tape that covers up misspellings and shit. It looks a bit ugly, but it's fine. I just put a sticker over it. Can I not? Mm, yeah, I'll just do that because I'm annoyed. Today is insane for me. Reload. Yeah, reload if, if you're having a lot of delay, Kings. Sorry. Hello. I was saying that I, I made a spelling mistake and now I've decided to stick just another sticker on top of it instead of having it look ugly. There you go. Much better. Alright. And then uh, I have these little habit stickers which should last me for another like week after this. Which, uh, I might have to find a better way to do this because these are very lovely I got these um, habit stickers from a little German shop and they are wonderful but I really forgot about the fact that I use like three every week and the sticker sheet came with ten so I have like one more week where I can do this and then I'm kind of screwed am I not uh, so I've not decided on how I want to like go about it tbh because I like having all three as a daily uh, habit, but I don't know. Hypothetically, I could get rid of the exercise one because I already have that in my daily tracking routine on the, in the mornings, but honestly, I don't know. Right, the new card has been made. So I guess the old card I could just put somewhere else. Boom. Task done. Do I want to do now? Got like a few minutes, three minutes left. I think I'll read for that time period.
Oh, now I'm back. No worries. Good to see you back. Kind of wild so far. I say I'm on page four, chat. In case you're wondering. It is break time chatters, page four of my book, so I will count that as having done some reading on it. I can always read uh, on like a train tomorrow when I go to class, but um, some of the other tasks I can't. There you go, doing my little tracking. I'm happy. I might do. Hmm, I might do the the good read sorting, which is just kind of silly stuff. I like to add and remove some stuff occasionally. I don't know. It just gives me joy, and it's helpful. I find. And then maybe I'll do some art. I have a bunch of art tasks on here. Just do some sketches. That would be nice. There we go. Tracking done. Done washing dishes. Yippee! Yippee! Let's go, James. Enjoy a bit of a break. Get yourself a treat. I'm so happy that, to um, now have a dishwasher because, oh my god, dishes is like one of the worst sensory things, like, ever. I don't know, something about wet food. It's just bad, okay? <laughs> But um, it can be bearable, it can be made bearable in some ways. Like for me a big one is always being able to listen to music during household chores. Just makes you feel like you're in a movie and you're doing like domestic life and then it's all not as bad, you know? Anyone feel that? Yes, yes. Gonna be back in a bit. Enjoy work and chat and chill, everyone. See you in a bit, Elle. Oh dear. It's just nice. Romanticize your life. I like that James Merritt song. Which I don't actually love that much, but <laughs> the point stands. Inspiration for things, does everyone have an idea for something to me, for me to work on my tabletop RPG? Um, what about traps? I think traps are cool. Or maybe a shop. Oh jeez, my voice. A shop would be cool. Traps and shops, okay? Yeah, I think that'd be nice. <laughs> nice. A little bit of breaks. And yeah, I mean, the best thing is, I only have this one book, and then I can kind of. I've done all the, the challenges and I got through the big book because The Secret History I started reading in autumn and then I had all of those challenges to finish before the end of the year so I 
read like 40 pages, put it down, and then I picked it back up in January now. Uh, but it's been it's been laying on my bedside table the whole time. Like even if I don't actively read it every second, I do consider books like that ongoing. I know some people do pauses, but I never tend to do that officially. I just kind of have it all in the pile and go with what I go. But I'm so happy whenever I finish a book that's been lying on the reading pile for like months and months. Or some of them actually for years. I still have three books that I'm co like currently reading. Um, I've got, and like, they're all like textbooks or school related books that are like non-fiction and very slow and boring. But I'm determined to get through them and maybe gain a little bit of knowledge. So uh, those three I still have and obviously now I've got... So it is time war. But after that, I want to really jump into working my way through a lot of the unread books. That's been my big goal for the year, to read as much uh, of what I already own physical copies of as possible. With some exceptions, of course, but overall that's kind of the structure I, I'm going to try my best with. Because, uh, you know... Buying books and reading books are two hobbies, and I'm trying to combine them in a little bit. Uh, Alright, it's work time chat, and I've decided I will do the Goodreads sorting. That's kind of like, just a little task. And it isn't that much, I just tend to go through the books I have put into my uh, want to read occasionally. For example, ones that have come out, and then I check like how the reviews fared on them. Like, Or in this case, for example, I removed uh, the Goldfinch which I've been meaning to read for a while, but now that I've read a different book by the same author, uh, aka The Secret History, I was like, I'm not like confident that this book will be worth it, so I decided to not do it. I can always watch the movie if I do still want to get the gist of the story without reading another 600 page book by an author that I didn't have the best time when I, when I tried it out. I tried them out. Some authors I give more than one shot, but not the ones that have 600 plus page books all the time. <laughs> my ass does not have the time. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to settings. Release date. Date published, there you go. Oh. oh my gosh, by the way, the cover for uh, the second part of the Sunbearer Trials, uh, Celestial Monsters, is so beautiful. I'm such a sucker for a pretty cover. releases. I don't want to give uh, Case and Callinger, I never know how to say it, Salinger, uh, another shot because I've read one book I really liked from them and another book I really didn't love that much. So I'm like I'm gonna give you another shot, alright? Just because you had one book I, I was like mid on doesn't mean you won't write another one I really like, so. Oh, I really need to read The Chalice of the Gods, the new Percy Jackson book. I already have a copy of it, I've just not read it. But I do like updating my Goodreads on. PC because I could just have another tab open instead of doing it on the phone.
of stuff like this is interesting. Hmm. I'm such a sucker for a, a good cover. Anyone feel me on that? Book can have a pretty cover, that's enough to drag me in. <laughs> But I covers often. Oh, yeah, me too. Mm. Alright, good to buy this book. Not convinced. Honestly, the books that have like three, like not quite four stars, are like the trickiest. Because if it's like a book, I don't know anyone personally who's read it and it isn't like part of a series or of an author that i already like i'm kind of like hmm side-eyeing you right now you know not saying every book with less than four stars is bad necessarily not at all but it is definitely a second closer look situation why are people not liking this book? I was interested. Tell me. Okay. Unnecessary romance. <laughs> Do you ever get this when you see like someone leave a review of a book? That's like why did you even pick up this book? Okay, so this is about a book called Unexpecting. Uh, came out last year. It's about... Uh, it's marketed as Juno meets Heartstopper in that it's a book about teen pregnancy with a trans boy as the main character. And the second highest review you see when you scroll down to the reviews... Oh, not even the second, the third highest, right? It's about, about someone writing... DNF as I did not finish at 33%. While the premise of Unexpected was interesting, I found I just don't like books about teen pregnancy. That's the entire book, my brother in Christ. <laughs> like, you could have seen this coming, like by the title or like uh, the plot description. Uh, that is incredibly funny. Oh no, it is, he doesn't get pregnant. Never mind, this was a different book than I thought. It's about a gay kid who accidentally gets his friend pregnant. Well... But he wants to keep the baby and the, the, the other the person doesn't. Hmm. But, hmm, hmm, hmm. That's strange. Okay, people are very much criticizing the romance and I was like, oh yeah, okay, sometimes a book that has different topics that also shoves in a romance can be difficult. But apparently the love interest is the ex-stepbrother, which is a little strange. I, hmm, hmm. Questioning that. Because in my mind I for some reason had it marked as trans teen pregnancy, but apparently it isn't that at all. So I'm definitely less interested. Alright, goodbye, unexpecting. By the way, I have kind of a loosey-goosey attitude in that even if I remove a book from my to-read list, doesn't mean I won't later join, like add it back or something. I just tend to kind of, if I don't even remember adding it or I'm not interested at the moment, I just kind of remove it, so...
I've already retired. Let's go! Good to see you, King. I was just, uh... I'm just going through books I've added to my read list and seeing for some of them if they're... For example, if they're after bit... Oh, Jesus Christ. If they've been out for a bit, what the reviews are saying, and just kind of updating what I might want to read. I have five survived here twice. Go away. There you go. I found that it could read somehow has gotten worse in that it sometimes doesn't register that two versions of the same book are the same book. Never used to make that error, but now it does. And I'm like, cool. Enjoy just cultivating my little lists. Just a good time. Why is this here? I already read this. Satisfied the updates. Consider that is done. Hmm, what else do I want to do? Uh, I don't really feel too artsy. I might start work on the articles. I'm not gonna do them all today, so I still have to write them down on the to do list tomorrow, but you know, at least I've started. <laughs> First thing I need to do is make a Google form for one of them. So that's always fun, is it not? I don't remember a specific amount of well, ah, Jesus Christ. I don't remember a specific bit of information, but I remember like how to get to that information, which can be helpful. Aha! And I found it. it. Took only three seconds, even though I forgot entirely. I like making traps dangerous. So if you don't notice the trap, like the active attempt to make it, then you have to make two saves against it. Damn.
I've striked fast enough to have the chance to make the second shave. Damn. my thing so now it is break time well no we don't actually have an active session so i'll schedule two more uh but we'll do a little bit of a artificial break time i guess right now before we we drive into it kind of into the work right now so i'm making a form because i need to write an article and it relies on information that people are meant to give me so i'll make my little form Pretty simplistic, it's just a bunch of questions and I'll send it to my UD WhatsApp groups to spread it and hopefully I get like, I don't know, 10 people who take it. it. Should be enough. It's just like a random city article that you meant to write, so. But it's the one that has the least amount of work on my part, so I'm kind of making it first. <laughs> But I'll, I'll mark it down as like started. My actual to-do list. Which is hype. Doesn't mean I get to mark it off forever, but it kind of means I can do a nice feeling that I've started doing work. <laughs> You're hype, thank you. Alright, are we ready to jump into another work session, chatters? I know it's less work, uh, time in between, but... I was kind of having some good workflow right then, and I want to continue. Oh, I didn't even have you pulled up, chat. I'm a terrible streamer right now. Probably I have you. Little activity feed on the side in case anyone follows or wants to redeem anything. Ready for more work? Alright, lads. Are you ready? Alright. Go on, then.
I mean, your duvet and duvet covers my bed because the old one is too small for my mom. I can use to get that bad pop duvets are expensive. I don't know, man. The struggle is real. Alright. Got more for the cover than the thing. Oof. Uh, wait, oh. Check your dance, please. Do I have some proper bedding when you visit because you can use my nice old one? Yo! Yeah, chapters. I don't know. I'm going on a little trip, well, a bigger trip ish, to visit L in February. So we'll see. We might do a stream together when I'm there. Which is pretty hype. So I think I've done this. I'll send myself this per email as well because I need to drop it into groups. Boop. Done. I can kind of chill. <laughs> All right, so I've done that. That is hype. Cause that's what I use for. So I should do this. Gonna be articles. So I just do my basics, which I should just copy over the information I have on a different right. I think not really different thing. Go. Uh, I really like Merryweather as a font. I think it's an underrated font. Take me out. And I'll just do. The first one is like a history experience article, and the second one is this questionnaire thing, and the third one is another history article, so yay! I make this easy for myself. I'll center these and make them bold so I know what is what. And then number three. Also send it in bold. I can find just this recipe that I've developed literal months ago that I've been setting on my desk since. That'd be good. against falling to pitfall with reaction speed or agility. Reaction speed.
kind of regretting one of the article ideas, so I might completely change my mind on that. Because I realised this is a really annoying project to research for. Because <laughs> it's basically like this idea about like what history the streets around my university had. But then I realised trying to search anything in relation to my uni with the word history in it means they will just talk about the history department at the university. So that's fun. Uh, so I'm gonna ask like tomorrow, hopefully in class, if I can just split up one of my articles ide ideas in two, basically. I think it, it's enough for two articles instead of one. So. Why am I doing that there? That's stupid. Fuck that other idea I had. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, this is very difficult to research for. Can I just not do it? <laughs> and I can just get away with a little bit less work. Oh. Smart. Okay, <laughs> oh, two spring onions bottom. What does that mean? Why? This is why I should have done this months ago. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I guess maybe just the white part? Could be. Alright. Let me get a reference image up because I know that you boys have been asking for a yellow halt emote for a hundred thousand years. I think that one is easy done. Easy done, easy go. Little high, little low. called zucchini lime sauce but the ingredients list doesn't contain zucchini i was okay two months ago was i okay <laughs> i guess not
That's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, this is not too bad, I think. This is quite a funny sketch for a yellow halt. Right, chat, I'll see if I can show you. I think I can do it easiest if I set it to L. Now I'm just gonna use the other data transfer to mind. <laughs> Let's see. Chatters of mine, are you ready for an epic work in progress sketch? <laughs> uh, I think it's it's kind of silly. Sorry for the plaguing, but yeah, there we go. This is my yellow hold sketch. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good. Hear me out. It's a big halt. You dog and I. I think it's quite good. Very good, yeah. Like, you boys have been asking for this one for like six months, so I feel like we should do it. <laughs> Obviously, very rough sketch, so I think today I want to try and get. Oh, I also realized I put my PNG right in front of the to do list. You guys can't even see that, but no. did you care that much? I could put myself on the left side, which is kind of strange, but. No, let him come and grab the cat! No! I can put myself all the way to the left next to the cat. It's very weird. No, I don't like it. Sorry if I'm covering up the to-do list, but I like myself being in the same location as always. But yeah, this is my work in progress art. Yeah, alright. Time to clean up the sketch a little bit while we're at it. Nope, never mind. Time to take a break. <laughs> but perfect timing. Um, I think I can definitely mark this off as at least done in terms of I started on it. Because these days a lot of times I just start on something instead of like finishing it all in one go. Because if it's like I've made the pitfall traps, yo, nice. Chat as a mind, get yourself some. Some snackies, some drinkies. My glasses are a bit dirty. Need to clean. <sighs> but yeah, I'm not really looking forward to tomorrow chat because I've got a really busy day. I'm doing this tour or like excursion for one of my classes. The afternoon and then I've got my presentation oh my gosh oh actually I forgot that I should write down make presentation notes as another task Ugh. and then also I have to do a call to my union because my union is stupid I just typed sofa sauce instead of soy sauce by accident because German delicious ah, I love my good sofa sauce notes. There you go. Uh, because yay I am um... My union was like, hey, how about we classify you as a as a worker instead of a student, even though I specifically said I'm still a student. And then they just booked the much higher membership cost that I normally pay. And I was like, oh, this sucks. And then I uh, changed the, like, I specifically, again, classified myself as a student to the union, be like, hi, I meant to pay like a tenth of the amount, please. And then they tried to book up the big amount again, and I, this time I caught it early enough that I could refuse the payment. City. Hi, James. And then everything was fine, and I was like, oh, surely, right? They must have realized, hey, that one time they booked up ten times my normal membership fee, so I, he doesn't need to pay for several months because he already paid in advance. But instead of that, they sent me a message being like, hey, you are like this amount far in behind in, pay in membership fees. Like, please transfer this money. And I'm like, well, what happened to the t like 26 euros that I paid you a few months ago when my membership fee, and they reiterated that it is in this letter, my membership fee is 250 a month, like 2 euro 50. So now I need to, because they fucked up in the first place. 
by, even though I said otherwise, forcefully classifying me wrongly as a full-time worker. Now I need to do this annoying ass call on Monday because the deadline for the missing fees, which aren't missing, but okay, is in like on Wednesday via mail. So I gotta do this annoying phone call somewhere between my presentation and this excursion in the afternoon um, to be like, hi, you actually, you know, already took like 10 months membership fee from me like four months ago. What's up with that? I never got that back. So I assumed you would take that money to cover any future membership fees. Like, just saying. But yeah, it's all really annoying because like, I'm not a full-time enough worker to actually benefit that much from being in a union. I just think it's cool and I think it's a good cause to support. So I was like, all right, I'll 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 do that, right? And now it's just giving me so much grief by fucking up and then fucking up again and again and needing me to do annoying phone calls and shit to fix it. So I'm, I'm hyped, as you can see, for Monday. <laughs> really excited. Because it's one of those things where I don't love having more than one task, like, important stressful task in a day. And on that day I have three, because I also hate professional phone calls with a passion. I just find them really stressful. And I'm like, well, I have a bunch of those on my to-do list still. Thank you for the passage check, I appreciate it, James. And then now I've got an extra one that I am so excited for, you know? And it's all because... Even though I classified myself correctly, they were like, no, 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 you know, very silly, especially since they literally in that letter classified that they did now classify me correctly, but eh, just go over this case, I'm on the game I'm playing, even though I know it has a happy ending, damn, didn't take pictures of any of the recipes, so they look really boring, Or maybe you can do in the future. Also, it is work time, so I'm gonna that and do some some line art I haven't decided what pen I want to use though maybe this yeah this should be good kind of to focus it out and what kind of nice shapes yeah this is about right Managed to make that look good in the first. Mm, no. I'll try and fix the recipe in case you care. You know, I do care. The Clean suitcase on my to do list. Because obviously, I'm going on a travel time very soon, and uh, it's a shorter travel than the most recent like holidays or whatever I've taken. So, I tended to take my big suitcase, but this is not long enough of a trip to justify that, meaning I need to clean my normal, like, little suitcase. Clean suitcase. Because it's just been stood in the basement for quite a while. I don't remember how long exactly. For a little suitcase. Well. Fair enough. Let's see if I can... Yes, that looks about right. I just need to line that like that, line these like here, and 
that and then adding rings for the hoodies. I think I'm just gonna do the line art today for the for the new emote. Cause I'm a little tired. The edge. Maybe on the back foot of the tasks already. I think that's how far I'll get. It all depends with art stuff. Kind of do what I feel good about it. And line up's normally the more annoying part, so quick foot. Get this line nice. Difficult. And the more fun part is definitely, in my personal opinion, um, doing the coloring and the shading rather than the light art. Sketching is also fun, but. Light art is just kind of a formality that you have to do. Loving this hand in the slightest. The hand is the most annoying part, TBH. The massive. Line art for this kind of shit is just painful. Oh god. Pain is real. best of my abilities. And the worst for the um, thing a guide different.
it focused a lot on the side line art. Line art, okay. go the line on yippee maybe like a little bit yeah this seems about right pretty satisfied with that so far to show you picture chat Don't mind his dead eyes again. This will change with the coloring. But this is just the absolute bare bones of the new emote being born. Not kill my entire phone to do one thing at a time, you know? Uh... All right, so remember this is the sketch. Boom, the line art. Yay. Ta Pretty hype. Probably be done in a few days and add it to the Twitch chat. Alright, what else do I think I can squeeze in the next, what, three minutes? Uh, presentation notes I think I can do. Because that's just basically copying over stuff I've already done just into a Google Doc. Sanitation notes.
Great pit spike pitfalls, they're just no traps, they're just pitfalls which take damage and follow each time you fail to climb out to take damage again. Damn. But I'll still do like this task. This extra coat. Dude, I look at this. This. I'll be streaming again soon, probably like two days until I get up again, Lamau. <laughs> you know, at least we try. Also, I misspelled the word articles so bad, 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 badly. Holy shit. Alright. Rough notes done. I'm hyped. Uh, so I did 7 out of 13, the majority of the stuff. Only things I had to do was my term paper, because I did a bunch of other tasks. Uh, job applications, both of the ones that I wrote down. And then uh, tiny life art, but I didn't. I did other art, and then commission work would also be art, which lights would also be art. So I basically did some of the stuff in the categories. Uh, you know, it is what it is, lads. It is what it is. I very rarely do all of the tasks. So, uh, but yeah, I'm very happy with the stuff that I did get done. And as mentioned, tomorrow is kind of a work day, but. Alright, I... Do you guys want to know the streams for the coming week? So we've got Tuesday, we got Cornucopia, trying to finish off the demo, and Tiny Life. Wednesday is demo day, Thursday we're doing NSMP, and Sunday we're doing Look Inside and Death and Taxes, uh, which is going to be our like finishing a story game, starting a story game, Sunday type beat. Uh, yeah, Monday obviously I have like the whole day filled cut stream and uh, Friday I'm, I've got two different social engagements so I don't have time either there. But um, otherwise we're, we're trying to do a bunch of stuff next week. I'm very excited for that. I had a nice time today to get a lot done so especially starting on a bunch of stuff so hopefully I can actually get a bunch of things going in this week. Especially the more annoying adult shit where you're like ugh terrible terrible you know but um yeah i'm happy and i will see you on tuesday for tiny life and cornucopia i hope you also got some good stuff done today or just had a good time hanging out uh i will send you to red dog who's doing some plate up if you are looking for something chill never mind can't raid him. Might have like a minimum raid thing for the stream. Alright, I'll see if there's anyone else doing uh, co working or generally playing. Oh, no one's playing this, but um, maybe the co working tag has something to offer. Let me see for you chatters in case you are still in the mood. Ah, oh, this person looks fun. They're playing uh, Frog Detective. Anything? Right, seems about right. Okay, I'm gonna uh, send you to Sweets Rin. Um, she's playing Frog Detective Three: Corruption at Cowboy Country. It looks pretty fun, cute. Got a nice little PNG tuber as well. You guys know I love a PNG tuber. I'm sending you her way. Uh, have a good time over there. And I will see you on Tuesday chat for Conocopia and Tiny Life. I hope you also had a nice Sunday chill day. 
and uh, we will see each other in the coming week.